G'day golfers, Glenn Haynes at Aussie Golf Pros. Today we're going to talk about the forgotten fundamental. This is a part of impact that's so, so critical that it really does make or break a golf round. Now you can talk about golf swings and what Tiger was doing last week and what Bryson's doing this week, but the fact is that all good players do this and a lot of club golfers really struggle with it. It's simple, I know you can improve it, so let's head to the range and talk about the forgotten fundamental. So what is the forgotten fundamental? Well, it's where we hit the grass. Our interaction with the turf is critical if we're looking for quality ball striking, consistency, and control over the ball flight. I often ask my clients, where do you intend to hit the grass? And quite often the answer is just before the ball. And clearly, if we've watched a lot of tour pros play on TV and they've had some close-ups there, then we know that we actually we want to hit the ball first and then the turf. Easier said than done. What if I were to say to you that you already know how to do it? So if you're a golfer who tends to scoop the ball, hit up on it, maybe hit some grass before the ball occasionally, then I guarantee you with this simple little drill, you can really improve that contact that you have with the turf, get it into a more consistent spot just after the golf ball and improve your ball striking. And guess what? You don't have to change your swing. It's as simple as that. So the first thing I'm gonna get you to do is have a couple of swings and hit different points of grass. So we just set up normally. And first up, let's do the easy one. Let's hit a few inches behind the, the setup place. Now the next one, what I want you to do is hit a few inches after that setup place. That's definitely the harder one and you notice I had to slow down a little bit there. And then see if you can hit a specific part of grass that you're looking at. I guarantee you, you already know how to do that. Might take you a couple of goes, but I want you to just go through that drill and see if you can hit different points of turf on purpose. That's called differential practice. It's a little different than just hitting the same spot over and over again, but that difference is key in helping us to become aware of where the club head is and where the bottom of the swing arc is. Now, if you've heard you need to hit down on your irons, then I want you to think about that very carefully. If you're actively trying to hit down on your shots, that you know, creates visions of maybe lifting and then chopping down into it, or maybe huge amounts of lag to try to, to compress the ball. That's fine for the tour pros, but the fact is that you're probably not going to ever generate huge amounts of lag. It depends on a lot of different fundamentals and how flexible you are and how much ground force energy you're producing. But realistically, think of it this way. Think of your golf swing as an arc, and everybody has an arc of a golf swing, and the bottom of that swing arc is just there. Now, if the golf ball is this side, if it's just forward, I'll grab a ball here. If it's just forward of that bottom of the swing arc, then you're on the way back up when you hit the ball. Let's say if we just shift that arc a little bit, now the bottom of the swing arc is slightly after the golf ball. By definition, now you're hitting down on the golf ball. You haven't changed your swing, you've just changed the point of grass that you're hitting, i.e. the bottom of your swing arc. Now what I want you to do is just grab a broken tee and we're going to have a practice swing just hitting that tee. But the key here is where we're going to have that tee. We want to shift the focus forward. We want to get into the habit of hitting the grass after the ball. So we're going to have that tee positioned forward of where you would normally have the ball. Let's get those golf balls out of the way so you can see it. And just have a practice swing hitting that tee. Generally the fire around about 10 metres. Okay, let's do it again. Again, shifting that focus forward, hitting that tee forward of where you'd normally have a ball position. Now, it might take you a little bit of practice, but you'll soon get used to that and actually get very good at hitting that tee. Now, the next step is to put the golf ball down there, but still have the same focus. Nice and relaxed, just like a practice swing, but we're hitting the tee. So this is what we're going to do. Just put the ball down, grab a T stem. You want one so nice and low. 
pop it just after the golf ball there, and we're gonna actually look at the tee. Forget the golf ball's there, look at the tee. I just want you to hit that tee a few meters like you were just doing with your practice swings just a second ago. So ball position is now normal, but the tee is forward, and that's the point on the grass that we wanna strike. Focus on that tee. And by looking at the tee, you're shifting that focus forward. Just hit the tee a few meters. Don't worry where the ball goes. I guarantee you, if you hit that tee in the right spot, then the golf ball will fly just the way you want it to and look after itself. Now, of course, we want to be able to get, hit that grass in the right spot from this angle as well, i.e. we don't want to hit the grass too far away from us and we don't want to hit the grass too close to us. So if you want to work on that, pop up into the corner here. We've got a great drill, again, using some tees just to help you with your focus and to sharpen up that ball striking. Are you the best golfer you can be?